Well, good morning, friends. If I sound kind of tired and a little congested, that's because I am. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is Tuesday, and I am having my coffee, and I'm going to read my Bible here. And I'm almost done with the um, little booklet, little ideals booklet with the Thanksgiving poems, um, because I have it planned out that I'll finish them up on Thursday. And so um, I thought I would read. So I'll figure out which one I'm going to read. I think it's the Thanksgiving Day one. And then um, we'll figure out what else I'm going to do today. It's going to be a big, busy day. There's so much. I've got so much going on. It's ridiculous. So anyway, let me see which one are we going to read today. Yes, it is Thanksgiving Day. <clears throat> My throat is so gunky today. I don't know why. Goodness, I'm not really ill. I just feel, feel like I got a frog in my throat. <laughs> my nose is very congested. Allergies are annoying. All right, and it's cold. It's gotten cold outside. Changing of the weather always makes me have more sinus problems. So, anyway, Thanksgiving Day <clears throat> by Isla Paschal Richardson. To God, we lift our grateful hearts in gratitude today. May we be worthy of his gifts. For this, we humbly pray. Our eyes, his blessings fail to see. By selfish aims grown dim. Our minds be clouded by our fears. Forget to turn to him. Now, from the strain of toil and care, we lift our th thoughts above acknowledging his gracious gifts of life and truth and love. And may we ever strive to see in all mankind the good that he creates and nationwide find closer brotherhood, not only on Thanksgiving Day, but every day that ends, may we remember to give thanks for blessings that God sends. I don't know when this poem was written, quite a long time ago, but um, that line that says, uh, and nationwide find closer brotherhood, that is very appropriate for this time in our country, isn't it? So yeah, I love it. I love it. Very, very nice poem. So I hope you've been enjoying these little Thanksgiving poems that I've been reading <clears throat> when I do my vlogs, I'm really enjoying these, this little booklet. Like I said before, I've read this booklet through many, many, many times for many, many, many years. And I just it just never grows old. I just really, really love it. And um, I'm going to use that other ideals book that I got uh, to, to read poems through the Christmas season. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, I am not putting the camera on my face because um, I'm looking a little rough at the moment. <laughs> um, but what I have planned for today, I need to get, here, let you look at Oliver. I need to get my bird feeders filled. I just noticed today that the little birds are flitting around and you know, it's gotten colder. We had a tiny bit of snow last week um, and... I don't know, I think it's time to fill the feeders. Um, we are supposed to have some really cold weather. Um, <clears throat> this, The end of this weekend into next week, I am not looking forward to that. I really, truly hate beating ice out of my water pans for my animals. Ugh, hate that. But it is what it is. I don't know if we're supposed to get any, very much snow or any snow at all, but it is supposed to be like 19 degrees as a low. It's like, ugh, yuck. But anyway, so I wanna get my bird feeders filled. And then I have been debating and kicking around whether I should decorate my bedroom for Christmas now or if I should wait till after Thanksgiving. And I really feel like doing it now. So that's gonna be the main uh, thing I want to get done today in this video is get my bedroom decorated 
before Christmas. But first things first, I'm going to finish my coffee, read my Bible, and get out there and get those bird feeders filled. And then we'll see what the day brings and see if I can get that bedroom decorated. So I have this um, ready to use bird feeder. I think I, bought, I don't remember where I bought this. Um, I bought it last year. Oh, the dogs constantly barking. So I'm trying to figure out how to use this. Okay, step one, turn feeder upside down, unscrew base and remove seal. Looks like the base is a little bit goofed up somehow. Hmm. Why is that like that? This must be the seal they're talking about. And that needs to be snapped back in there. Oh dear. All right, hold on. Let me try to get this fixed. There we go. I got it snapped back on. I guess that was the seal they were talking about. Oh, great. Let's see. Now what do I do? <laughs> Reattach base, turn beater upright with a quick motion to avoid scattering seed. Okay. Alright, uh, remove wrapping from bottle to release hanger hook. Whoops, I'm getting seed everywhere. Uh, release hangers hook together hanger loops. Extend perches from under the base, hang and enjoy. I would think they should have us do all that other stuff before we remove the seal. Because now it's going to make a mess. Alright. Let me see here. Okay, so there's the hangers. And I don't know where the perches are. I don't know where the perches are. I'm not going to worry about it. I think they can perch on this side here and get the seed out of it. Birds are very ingenious. So let me go get this hung. I've got some of the suet blocks here and I've got other bird seed outside. I figured out how to extend the perches. It just They just pull out like that. Easier than I thought.
was way more work than it should have been. <laughs> All my uh, bedroom decor, I thought, was towards the front of the closet, my storage closet downstairs. But no, 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 no. It was clear in the back. <laughs> so I had to basically pull almost everything out. And I'm just going to leave this stuff out because um, just in a few days, we're going to be decorating up here, getting the Christ big Christmas tree up. And so... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it, even though it looks terrible downstairs, looks like a, my closet exploded. It's just gonna stay that way. Nobody's gonna be going downstairs on Thanksgiving anyway. So, it is now noon. <laughs> it's taken me all morning to, to find that stuff and do my other uh, morning routine. So I'm gonna get some lunch and then we'll get started in the bedroom. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to get my Christmas tree put up. And I'm gonna put it on top of Percy's crate this year. I had it over here in front of the window last year and it was just, it was too much of a impediment to get through here. And this year I have the, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, what is this called? Bamboo, the bamboo tree is here. So I'm gonna to have to figure out how I can get back behind there and get some, an extension cord and then I'm going to put a Christmassy blanket across his crate. And then I bought a new tree this year. I got this at Walmart. It was, I can't remember how much it was. Where's the, ah, oh, here we go. It's upside down, $35. But the other tree I used last year was just, I got it from Dollar General and it was very cheap looking and it was really hard to decorate because the branches were really flimsy. So <clears throat> I decided to get something nicer. So I'm gonna go off camera. I am going to get some electric running here and get the Christmas blanket put on his crate. It's a very, very, very tight squeeze in here because as you can see, his crate just barely fits in there. I will be so glad when he doesn't have to be in the crate anymore at night. I'm almost tempted to just stop putting him in the crate, but I know he'll get into mischief. And I know, especially once the Christmas decorations are up, he will tear stuff up if he's out unsupervised. Un, uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a few more months yet before I, I trust him out of the crate at night. All right, there it is. Now it is a pre-lit tree, but I felt like it needed a bit more light. So I just put on one more strand and I feel like it's kind of wobbly. So I'm gonna go get a hard tray to set the tree on because the cage is a little bouncy. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start decorating it. I found all my ornaments. I was freaking out a little bit because I couldn't find them initially but I did find them. So I'm gonna get these on the tree. And yeah, so let me get this base sturdied up a bit and then we'll get started decorating. All right, I got the star on the top, which actually kind of looks like a snowflake. And that sucker was challenging to get on there. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was, but it was hard to get it on there and have it stay. I've got this um, puffy garland. It wasn't very long, so I just kind of swooped it this way and then swooped it back this way. It's not on the back of the tree. And then I put in these little sparkly picks. Now the next thing I'm gonna put on are these ornaments. They're just like cardinal ornaments, star ornaments. I got these, the cardinal ones at, I think I got, wait a minute, I think I got, hmm. The cardinal ones I got at Walmart, the star ones I believe I got at Dollar General. I'm gonna put those on. Then I've got these white birds. I'm gonna put those on. And then I got these, um, youngest child, mom's favorite, firstborn mom's favorite, um, Olivia and Travis. And once I get those on, I'll bring it back and show you the progress of the tree. Here's how it's looking. Looking very pretty. I have these ornaments that are like memorial ornaments. Let me show you what they are. So these are the memory ornaments for my mom, for my brother.
for my pepper girl. I miss her so much. I miss all. That sounds bad. I didn't say that about my mom and my brother. I miss them all so much. I've been especially missing my mom and my pepper lately. Lucy. My sweet, sweet Lucy. She was so, so, so smart. By far the smartest dog we've ever owned. And last but not least, little Sally. I really wished I didn't have to put this ornament on this tree this year. We were hoping we would have more time with her. So let's get these on the tree. I had to do the memory ornaments with two hands. That was too hard to do with one hand. <laughs> I tried, but I couldn't do it. All right, the last thing I'm gonna put on this tree, as far as our ornaments go, are these knitted ball ornaments. I got these, I think, at Dollar General as well. All right, the last thing I'm going to do on this tree is I'm gonna just poke some of these little picks in here just to kind of fill in any um, blank spaces to make it look fuller, add a little texture to the tree, all of the above. So I'm just gonna kinda lay these in here on the branches. And I think it's gonna look really, really nice when it's all when it's all done. So I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back when I've got all those little picks added. Alright, there it is. It's so pretty. I love it. It is so much nicer than the tree I had last year. That's for sure. All right, I am going to get my headboard done and get my bed made, and that might be all I can get done today. because I have got to go pick up Olivia in about 45 minutes. So let me get this all done. I'm gonna get all the fall stuff off, get it wiped down, and get the Christmas stuff up. for now. Um, I know it will be tweaked and changed and once I get all of my Christmas decorations from uh, the basement up here 
Um, so stay tuned to the final reveal when I do my home decor tour. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my bed made with the uh, Christmas bedding.
all right, friends. Sorry, I'm looking kind of rough. It's almost time for another haircut. It always gets so annoying when it's needing to be cut. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I know it is a lot shorter than my normal vlogs, but it's two days, two days before Thanksgiving. I've uh, got so much to do tomorrow. I'm not gonna be vlogging tomorrow. Um, Friday starts the first day of Vlogmas, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I really kind of hesitate to even say anything because I feel like I'm always complaining about something and I really don't mean to be, but you guys are my friends and I know a lot of you are prayer warriors. So I'm asking for some prayer for me. I have really been struggling um, for about two weeks now with um, a UTI. And I have not had a urinary tract infection for about 30 years. But the last time I had one, 30 years ago, it was it was a booger and, it, and I had a hard time getting rid of it. And I think that's kind of the path I'm going this time again and I really am frustrated with it. Um, I went to the doctor last week on Friday. Um, I was having symptoms before that but I was trying to just drink a lot of water and kind of flush things out and hope that that would take care of it. Well, it didn't. And I got a home uh, UTI test, tested positive last week, Thursday. So I went to the doc, couldn't get into the doctor till Friday. And of course, yes, it was positive. He gave me a three day course of antibiotics, which I thought would take care of it. Um, I took my last pill yesterday morning, and by yesterday evening, I started having symptoms again. So I took another at-home test this morning, and it tested positive again. So I am, it's a really hard, a bear getting in touch with my doctor. We play phone tag a thousand times um, because I called immediately, and I'm still waiting I did call them back again and did talk to his nurse and he's got the message and he's supposed to call me. Um, I'm just wondering, I, at the time when he said only three days worth of antibiotics, I was in my back of my mind, I'm thinking he should probably give me five days, but I didn't speak up and here I am. And it's really frustrating. I'm very frustrated. This is like of all the time for me to get a UTI right before Thanksgiving when I'm having, having people over and I've got a ton of stuff to do. This is not the time for that. Um, so I'm hoping that he'll just call me in a prescription and I can take that at least through the holiday. And if then if it does still doesn't kick it, We'll have to go back, and I just, oh. My mind always goes to the worst case scenario, and I'm trying hard to not get in that frame of mind, but it's it's difficult. If, if you are someone who deals with anxiety and struggles with anxiety, you understand what I'm talking about. And anyway, <laughs> I do not want to end this video on a sad or depressing note. I'm just telling you guys because I need your prayers. Just uplift me in your prayers. Pray that the antibiotics this time will kick it. And um, there will be nothing else that has to be done. I don't have to do any more doctors or tests or anything that this antibiotic will just kick it this time. So pray for that. I will keep you posted. Um, Either in my next vlog, probably in my next next vlog, I'll let you know what's, what happened. Um, that may be a few days. So if anything important happens before then, I will put something in my community post. So you guys just keep an eye out for that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this video now. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't do a whole lot today. It, it's, it's, hard to, um, it's hard to get anything done. <laughs> Honestly, when um, I have to be, I have to leave at 2.30. I have to leave in five minutes to go get Olivia. So um, 
If I had all afternoon, I could probably finish my bedroom, but I'm having difficulty because I can't find everything that I know I used in there last year. I don't know. I'm sure it all, I'll find everything eventually, but I can't find everything. So anyway, um, I'm going to get off of here, but I wanted to wish you guys a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Those of you who live in the United States, enjoy your holiday on Thursday. Um, try not to get too stressed out like I am <laughs> and um, just have a, have a great time with your friends and family. And we will see you on Friday with day one of Vlogmas. Bye-bye, friends. Thank you.